Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We're back with another video on GT Sport and we're back with a daily race C at North Life starting from the back of the grid. And as you can tell from the title and the intro, we have GTS Momos in the lobby. As you can see there, highlighted on your screen, starting from P9. And we all know that when Momos is in a race, sometimes all hell can break loose. So let's get on with this race. Please remember, if you do enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button so you do not miss any future videos. And let me know in the comment section how you enjoyed this video. If you've had any interactions with Momos on track, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to read the comments of people that have had races with Momos and any dealings with Momos. Momos is not always dirty, but he has his moments in GT Sport, as we all know. Anyway, let's get back on with this race. Starting the start there, you see. Trying to get past the Toyota 86 because one thing the Ferrari is very good at is its first gear acceleration. So managing to get straight past that Toyota, I think he was also saving fuel possibly straight away and just letting us go. So into turn one, we've got a car, Scirocco, that's just come from God knows where on the track. And then he on ghost just as we go through the corner, but we've got that position. So straight away up two positions, up into P16 from P18 on the grid and starting this race. Um, we've got a lot of work to do, but I have to say, I've really enjoyed this combination this week. Um, I think the fuel saving element has actually added quite a lot into the race. I've quite enjoyed it. I'm not normally a massive fan of fuel saving, but one, it's helped me learn this track because I have only learned this track this week. We started it on Monday and we've managed to find reasonable pace, I think. Ferrari seemed to be the strongest car. Cayman was pretty strong. The car that I did the video with on my on Monday for this combination but yeah I, I really like the Ferrari Ferrari actually had a bit more acceleration was a little bit better at short shifting than the Cayman and also very strong on the fuel and um, we've actually you know I think I've really got quite strong with the fuel saving round here throughout the week um, really enjoyed it um, been a challenge it's it's actually quite new for myself to be driving a track that I don't fully know um, it's quite a nice experience actually so yeah, let's get on with this race as we see P15 there, get a little bit loose through the corner, that's going to give me the opportunity to make our way past the Porsche and up into P16. And you can see there Antomics on his second account, also manages to get past a few cars there following in our slipstream. He's on his second account also starting from the back and we're now going to work up towards the traffic in front of us. So Momo's still in this race, quite a little bit further ahead, I think he's up in around P7 to 8, somewhere in that region. So we've got a lot of cars in between ourselves and this track, like you know, very, very hard to get any form of overtaking done. It's almost impossible to get moving as we come to this car here and I absolutely panicked. He just has us on from nowhere. I don't know whether he disconnected or whether his connection was going because then you look behind us in the mirror and his car just, yeah, it was very, very um, frightening. But luckily the car was ghosted, but it didn't look ghosted. But um, yeah, we got away with that one. And same, I think Anatomics also got pa panicked by that. Hit the brakes as we go for a move on that car there on the right side. Going past him and a nice move done there up into P13. So a few positions gained in that little moment of madness. And now we've got a bit of a gap up ahead of us to the white car. I think it's possibly a Ferrari up ahead. And into the braking zone. However, we missed the braking zone slightly there. Very, very dodgy braking zone. That is so easy to run wide. Luckily, we don't run wide. And we keep it on the track as we now work our way down. Just look at all this chaos going on on, on the screen at the moment. We've got four, three wide almost at one point. We're going to look to go up the inside of the Mazda, the yellow Mazda. And we managed to get that Ferrari back past him and back up to that position that we had just lost by missing the braking zone slightly. So a nice move done there. Back into the clean air and we can now push on to the white Ferrari that's ahead of us and see if we can get into his slipstream. So this race was, like I say, all about fuel saving, strategy, you have to take your moves when you can take them. You know, if you see a gap, you've kind of got to go for it because this track is really difficult to overtake on. But I do like the strategic element of it. I was never a big fan of this track, but now that I've learned it and you're starting to understand, you know, you've got to be very tactical when you're in this, you know, just following another car. There's no point lunging it sometimes. Sometimes it's just a good idea to sit in the slipstream, just wait for that mistake because this track, it's very easy to make a mistake on as we come up now through to the flat out section. We've got a car there that looks like he's, I don't know what he's done. Maybe he's rage quit. Maybe he's been hit off. But from P11 to a rage quit, maybe a bit drastic. We're only on lap one. I think he could have probably got himself a little bit further back up there. Don't know what happened. Maybe just disconnected. Who knows? But we're up to P11 now as we're following in the slipstream to the car ahead. Fast forward in the action a little bit there as we're now pretty much fully in that slipstream. So we can do a little bit of fuel saving. Through this section up here is where you can do a lot of fuel saving I find. So you can see I'm actually backing out deliberately from the slipstream in a way, just trying to save fuel. Because I know that 
even though we're going to drop the slipstream here, as long as we do this section in mixture five and do it quite smooth, we're going to save a lot of fuel and also we'll get back in that slipstream anyway because look at the amount of cars in front of us. We've got a massive train developing here at North Slive and this is what I say about this track. It can actually provide some quite entertaining races. We've got, I don't know whether that's Momo's up there as well. There's almost a massive long list as the car behind us there just gets it all wrong and like I say, so easy to make a mistake on this track and that gives Antomic C position behind us and he's now able to follow behind. But just look at this train. We're on, you know, we're coming towards the... You know, towards the end of the lap at Norschleife, and you can just see there's about 10 more than 10 cars within a few seconds of each other, and it is quite entertaining. Just look at this on the replay camera, just look how many cars there are. It just looks crazy. I, I absolutely I've had a lot of fun on this combination this week, but yeah, this race is all about Momos, as we know. Uh, Momos, we have been this was raced during the live stream, and Momos was in the race i think this was the first race of the day with momos in there as well this one um you never know what to expect with momos because sometimes he's really clean like i say and sometimes he can, he can just lose it but yeah be interesting to see how this race progresses um but at the moment things are going okay for myself we're we've made progress we've got a lot of cars in front of us so what i'm doing here you can see mixture five and then just flicking it to make sure two every now and then for where I want a bit of acceleration. Just trying to save my fuel because I had gone a little bit aggressive, I think, at one stage of the lap early on when I wanted to get past a few cars. So we're just trying to bring back the fuel a little bit. We're in the slipstream here, so we're short shifting while we're fast forwarding into mixture two as well every now and then. Just saving as much fuel as I can during the stage. We've got a Shrock one out right there. That's going to be a position as we're going to go to the right hand side as he goes back into the slipstream. And then we're back into the slipstream of the white Ferrari again. And again, this is a very important thing to do. If you're ever in a slipstream like this and you're almost at the end of the maximum speed of the car, just go into mixture six because we're not going to overtake them in front. But mixture six in seventh gear saves you a lot of fuel. It really does help your fuel situation out. So always remember that if you're in a slipstream and you're following a car towards the high end speed of that car and you don't think you can get past anyway, just flick it into mixture six because you'll save yourself so much fuel. But yeah, that's one lap done of Norse Life now and we're up into p10 so we're in the top 10 off one lap so race going pretty well we've lost quite a lot of time to the leaders which i kind of expected because you can see the train of cars that we've got here we're still in a massive long line and we can see momos just up there in p7 momos and matthias matthias also not the cleanest driver you'll ever face on the game i've had some pretty i think i remember some pretty aggressive encounters with matthias matthias but yeah you can see momos on the right side of the ferrari he's gonna go around the outside uh, all fair at the moment a little bit of contact there he's going to send it back up the inside i think that is pretty fair to be honest it was a bit aggressive but i think it was fair momos had the inside he used the racing line and yeah carried on his way into in pa and we're going to accelerate now and get that ferrari so we're up to p9 with that move and tomix is going to try and follow us on the inside onto the throttle as early as we can a little bit of mixture too there you can see just again every opportunity i you get to save fuel you want to try and do it especially when you know you're not going to be overtaking a car so now we're in momos's slipstream and the action is not far away from kicking off in this race so you can see through here just sitting in momos's slipstream saving fuel when i can i know i can't out drag the audi tt because most people on gt sport know about the audi tt it's one of the fastest cars in acceleration in group four so you can't really do much about it you can see here if no i'm in mixture one we're not really gaining, so I'm just going to short shift that uh, mixture one while we're in the slipstream. Going over to the right hand side of the track and then just try and take this corner with a little bit of speed and see if we can get right up behind the cars in front. Yeah, we'll get a little bit closer there, you can see. But up ahead, you can see the, I think um, Mario there almost just let Momos through. I think he was a little bit worried about what Momos might do, but actually quite a good move there from Momos. Puts himself up to P7. It looked pretty fair from my view. Uh, maybe there was a bit of contact, but it, it looked okay. And I think Mario just kind of just backed out. was like, well, I'm not getting involved with that. Because some people are quite scared of Momos on GT Sport. But Momos probably knows that. As we come through this straight now, you're going to see something. Just look up ahead. And you're going to see Momos go for a little bit of a fake down the left. And gets pushed into the barrier. And that is not a wise decision. It's Matthias who's done it. So Matthias just completely shoving Momos into the wall. You can see it here from my view from above. A little bit clearer now as... We're just watching the action. You see Momos goes down left and just gets shunted into the barrier. Now, don't be fooled. There was previous before this. And I think 
yeah, there's, he seemed to kick off a little bit earlier in the lap, but we'll get to that at the end of the race. But let's carry on with the action here now. Momo's ahead of Matthias, and Matthias probably not very happy about that. So this is going to be interesting. We're right behind the action. We've got the bird's eye view of this, and yeah, this is going to be, the, you know, we've, we're, right in, we're right in the prime seat here for the action about to kick off, and um, let's see what's going to happen. I was a little bit worried, I'm not going to lie. We're sitting there just trying to get a good result out of this race from the back of the grid, and... I just don't, don't really want to get taken out at this stage, so we're just trying to be cautious, we're not going to be too aggressive, just sitting behind um, the Audi TT there, is, I think he hit the Ferrari, so we ended up dropping back a little bit, but you can see, just being patient, we're just going to sit behind, use that slipstream, had a little look down the left there, but it's just not worth going for a move, so we're in mixture free, saving a little bit more fuel, and just sitting back, doing a little bit of lift and coasting. Very good track to do lift and coasting this. You can save so much fuel by just lifting off and letting the car coast through some of these corners, especially this downhill section. Great places to do it. As Matthias goes for a move on Mario, we see the door open as well. A very opportunistic move there and make our way up into P8. So doing quite well in this race. We've got two drivers in front of us. We've got a good chance of a reasonable result. But now we've got Momos and Matthias battling up ahead. As Matt is all over the rear of Momos, I decided here to save fuel. You can see I backed up there, but then he pushes Momos off, and then I thought, do you know what? I'm staying out of this. However, Momos runs wide there. I see an opportunity. We take that position. Quite a nice little move there, putting ourselves up into P7. Pretty brave move to do on Momos, but it was a good move. And now, though, just keep your eye on the action. This actually took me by surprise. I'm just driving along, and Momos with the savage takedown. Look at this. All 10 out of 10 for the takedown, because not only does he do that, he grinds along the wall perfectly and carries on with a lot of speed. So just watch this again from Momo's view. And bang, he is not happy with Matthias, as you can see. And now we're going through. You see, Momo's is ghosted. However, he's caught on ghosts when I'm pretty much going through him. So a bit annoying. But then we go to, to go to the right of Momo's and he wants to try and take me out. So I get a little bit annoyed. And Tomic sees that, pushes Momo's off the track. Not the wisest thing to do when you're coming into a braking zone, Antomics. Always remember that. However, take a look at this. Now, we just go along through the corner. Mario goes for a dive up the inside. And then look behind us. We get an absolutely massive shunt that actually boosts me forward. And, yeah, craziness kicking off. Momo's with the retaliation there. Pushes another driver off in the Cayman in the process. And then doesn't break here. And Tomic sees him coming, breaks. And I he just goes through the basically through a gap he misses both of us but he did hit the rear of my car but it actually boosted me so momo's going for the savage takedowns just take a look at this yeah we got very lucky with that we actually got boosted forward but yeah if we were just a few inches further back i think we would have been took out in that situation so momo's going absolutely savage in this race um he took out matthias which yeah there's pre definitely something going on between them two tried to take me out on the straight missed um, and Tomic's got a bit of retaliation against him, but that might not be the wisest thing to do. And then he takes out a Porsche, and then he t tries to take us all out, um, but fails. Big F in the chat for Anton, um, for not Antomics, for uh, Momos. A big F in the chat for um, Momos, as we would say, or in the comments below. Get them Fs going for Momos. But yeah, um, we're up to P6 now. Um, sorry, P5. And we've got away from all of that, so... Lucky for myself, we managed to get that move done on the car there, and we're up to P5 and just trying to make our way to the finish now as we get very close to P4. You can see, working our way up here, we're getting almost tantalizingly close to him. Flat out on the throttle, we're getting closer and closer and closer, almost getting into the slipstream now. Using a bit of fuel saving there, I probably didn't need to do that, but I wasn't sure if we were gonna make it. You can see on the fuel, I was actually fine. I could have accelerated and got a little bit closer to him. So yeah, back into mixture one, trying to take this as fast as we physically can. Flat out now, you can see I actually could have probably gone completely flat and got a little bit closer. But yeah, we get into slipstream. Maybe I should have done, maybe I think I should have done there. Just stayed on the maximum throttle all the way to finish line. And a P5, not too bad from P18 on the grid at North Life. A track that's very hard to overtake, especially with the fact that it's a fuel saver. You can't get them moves done in the pits. But yeah, let's take a look back at lap one. This is why I think it's all kicked off. So Momos gives Matthias a little shove through the corner. A messy move, we'll call that. And then Momo's retaliating now. You can see is like, nope, nope, you're not going back past. Pushes Matthias off the track. So this is the trigger. That is the trigger to where it all started. But yeah, we did have more races with Momo's. And this was our experience um, of the race. So this was a another race later on in the day as he gets taken out by Momo's. <laughs> that's one more driver out of the way for Momo's. And then he gives Sackboy a little hit. But I don't think that's deliberate. He just backs out carries on his way and Momo's just yeah 
but this was Momo is what he done to me. Just coming back past us, we go to the right, and then yeah, he goes to the left, and then he just shoves us into the grass. It just gives us a little shove, and that really frustrating thing to do. Now this was after multiple times. I got quite annoyed. Then he brake checked us here. You can see he's on the brakes, and I just thought, Do you know what? Brake all you want. We're gonna send you to the shadow realm, Momo's. A bit of retaliation there. Momo's is out, and guess what? We made Momo's rage quit. He did a rage quit. So. Another F in the chat for Momo's, everyone. A bit of an entertaining video. Momo's was on, I think he was in a bit of a bad mood this day because that was just a few of the highlights of the day with Momo's. But yeah, remember, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back for more videos and live streams in the future. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I'll see you all soon. Bye.